watch uh, activities for support of cholera control in Nigeria. The background to generally cholera outbreak reported in Nigeria between 1970 to uh, 1990 is an endemic country where we have large scale of uh, cholera and uh, during rainy seasons of Bashi between most affected states with outbreak consistently from 2014 to 2021. Significant numbers of IDP comes uh, across the country due to insurgency and other challenges. In 2021, Nigeria was hit with the worst cholera outbreak in 30 years of over 1,111 uh, 1, and 62 suspected cases, over 3,000 deaths with uh, CFR of 3.2%. Total number of local government affected, 435 LGA in 35, 34 out of 37 uh, states, including a statistics with a city, making 37 states affected. 49% of cases were female, 26 percent children were children five to 14 years old and 15 percent less than five percent 53 percent of community social cases were reported in four states Bashi having the very large numbers which is the highest followed by Jigawa, Kano and uh, Zamfara. Next slide. Next slide. The uh, cholera hotspots generally as reported as of September 2021 are basically from the north, the northern part of the country, which is uh, northwest, north central, and then the northeast, and part of a uh, uh, little part of uh, the south, south at uh, Airborne State. And then we'll... next slide. Next slide. The, the partners that were affected, we have 23 uh, that were partners that were res that responded to cholera break in 2021. According to our target, we have a 3.6 million targeted for cholera and wash response for all partners between June 2021 to March 20. 2022, and uh, 1.6 million were rich with sustain and improve access to water supply. The new access to water supply, 418,000. The sustainable, sustained access to water supply, 1.6 million. New uh, access to sanitation, 180,000, 81,000 sustained access to sanitation services, 697,000, and hygiene promotion and social mobilization, 2.1 million. We did the general dashboard for cholera response monitoring. We have 23 partners generally responding 1.1 million reached with water supply services, 2 million hygiene promotion, 23,000 with sanitation services with household and latrine disinfection. The major risk factor and vulnerability cut across, uh, we have the cholera cases, which I've just mentioned, and then the basic water supply sanitation, 34% ecoli contamination in the household city, 3% safely managed, 14% open defecation, 23%. Then for the hygiene system, percent poor. What are the risk factors? One of them is the poor wash conditions, conf uh, conflict and insecurity in the northeast, northwest, and the north central region, congestion, displacement, and population, population movement. It's another factor. Then drought in the uh, north and flooding in most parts of the country and high poverty rates, poverty rate nationwide and malnutrition. It's another factor too.
Recently, we just conducted, uh, carried out a watch advocacy visit and uh, campaign awareness to states, governors, and uh, traditional rulers and other officials. Then we also carried out a uh, national youth volunteer program, sanitation and hygiene, as you can see. Then for the water quality monitoring, the treatment of community water and urban water supplies and water safety planning at the community level, enhance, enhancement of sanitation and hygiene was, was also carried out, provisions of latrines and installation of hand washing facilities, cleaning and clearing of drainage systems, environmental sanitation campaign. Construction of sanitation hygiene and hygiene facility with solar power bowl to reduce the risk factor in communities were also carried out. Open the vacation free in LGA in Nigeria 76%. Then expansions and sustenance of uh, access to water services and leading to good positions of life saving, wash non food items were also carried out. We recently, we just carried out uh, and just developed and just concluded cholera preparedness and prevention and response plan. States were trained to build their capacity on uh, cholera preparedness and response, which we just concluded uh, this uh, uh, February, and we also carried out uh, coordination and institutional strengthening of cholera prevention, preparedness, and response. Road regular wash emergency technical working group meeting with all stakeholders. Collaboration with Nigerian Center for Disease Control is also ongoing. The national response to cholera outbreaks. The national multisectoral cholera technical working group continue to con uh, coordinate the national response. The deployment of RRT during outbreak, surveillance were also strengthened with using the IDs, SR, and Thomas. States cholera outbreak response teams training was also taking was also taking well, supporting of EOC coordinations at the subnational at the state level, laboratory optimization support for cholera testing was also carried out. Then advocacy visit to state was also carried out at the, uh, uh, to the subnational, supporting states with uh, case management and communities, supporting states with rich communication, developed cholera hotspot mapping. We also developed cholera case management guidelines and SOPs. We also conducted the 2021 cholera outbreak after action review, which was held in the all geopolitical zone in Nigeria. Strengthening of state wash infrastructure and subnational response ongoing, supported by partners, WHO, UNICEF, MSF, Action Against Hunger, Swedish International, and Afternet. Challenges, inadequate planning and response capacity was one of the challenges. Weak multi-sectoral collaboration, poor reporting by partners to government, water supply challenges, quality and quantity, open defecation, we are yet to get there, we're still at 90% at LDA, poorly <coughs> protected water sources, Streams and dog wells, insecurity in some areas due to boundary insurgency, conflicts, poor hygiene practices, poor environmental sanitation, including waste management. The way forward 
finalization and implementation of multisectoral cholera control plan. This is one of the way forward. Water adequacy and safety plan, water safety planning, addressing the open defecation, which is still ongoing, increasing the awareness and health education among communities, strengthening state preparedness and readiness to response, improving wash structures at sub-national level, which is JAO presently, uh, for telling multi-sectoral collaboration within technical working group and EOC at national and sub-national. Thank you. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Olu Daniels. Uh, what I want us to understand in this presentation is we we can see the 3.2 percent of our CFR. Uh, we have realized that uh, this, most of these mortalities uh, happen at home, uh, you know, basically because of the community orientation. So we're doing all we can. Uh, I've just discussed with one of the, our partners from the WHO that we are going to include the planning, particularly in the, our national uh, cholera plan. Um, we realized that this year we have our 701 cases from January to date. Um, you know, with the with uh, so we we realized that there is a d decrease in the number of cases, particularly uh, within the first uh, quarter uh, of this year. And we realized that last year it was between four years and 15 years, but this year we realized that the 701 cases are below the age of five years. So that means uh, we have to really, right now we are working towards uh, pre-positioning of the RDTs so that we see what actually are the causes of this diarrhea. Is it really cholera? Because you know when it happens uh, much at a much younger age, so we really need to improve diagnostics. Um, he mentions that uh, there are 74 uh, local governments in Nigeria that are often notification free. Uh, this is far from the what we expect. Our target in 2025 to have ODF uh, in all the local government areas. We have 774 local government areas uh, in Nigeria. So we see 90% uh, uh, you know, defecate awfully. So we have a long way to go, uh, frankly. We are going to really plan, especially with this NCP, to see strategies that we're going to use, particularly with all the discussion we have here, to see that how we can uh, improve open defecation in Nigeria. Um, we so actually strengthen our surveillance. Because that's why we have a lot of cases. As we are discussing when the uh, Bangladesh counterparts make presentation, we are using the IDSR, the revised IDSR technical guidelines, to get you know cases from our facilities regularly. Uh, so that's why. Uh, we, we, we record these cases and we have a large number of cases. And we have also implemented in all our states in Nigeria the uh, electronic IDSR, not the paper form now. because We call it uh, Surveillance Outbreak Response Management and Analysis System that we are using. We are actually in all the states in Nigeria, 37 states, uh, 36 states plus FCT, and uh, we are working towards improving facility-based a SOMAS deployment because now in facilities we have uh, very few facilities that we have deployed this electronic IDSR system. So that's one of the things that we also want to, and he has also mentioned all the trainings, the laboratory uh, training, you know, the preparedness, prevention, diagnosis, case management that we have conducted. We have just conducted uh, the after action review uh, funded by WHO you know, after the cholera outbreak to see what, and we realized that the major issues are actually why we're here, the wash. Uh, once wash is not taken care of, then we are going to start, we are going to every year be planning for the next outbreak in, I mean, almost forever. So we definitely have to uh, work towards wash infrastructure. And we realized that the governments are not investing in infrastructure, in wash infrastructure as they should because probably of the competing needs. Uh, so we paid advocacy, the Director General, as I mentioned earlier yesterday, has paid advocacy to 
the Federal Executive Council, which comprises of the ministers, uh, the president, the ministers, and then the governor's forum, all the governors of the 36 plus FCT, and then, you know, uh, other stakeholders. So uh, one thing that is not mentioned here is our OCV campaign, um, which we have done campaigns uh, during this outbreak in at least five states. Uh, we are now waiting for security to improve in particularly Zamfara. The vaccines are there. Uh, we actually want to take it to another state. But, you know, when it's reached there, the government said, no, this is our vaccine. So we are really waiting for the security to improve uh, so that we, we, we conduct uh, that. But the bottom line is uh, the, what we found as a problem is uh, essentially wash. Uh, so I, I think we will work towards uh, improving that, especially to include it in our national uh, cholera plan so that we work forward to see how we can achieve that. And the key thing that we are doing, actually, as I mentioned earlier, is advocacy. Advocacy, advocacy, because once we don't have funding, you know, on this uh, wash infrastructure, because states are responsible for, you know, providing these wash infrastructures to their respective states. Partners can support, but there's a limit by which uh, partners can support. So as you can see, the, the, the figures by partners, the intervention on wash, uh, you see that it's, it looks good, but certainly it's much, much lower than uh, our target. So thank you very much. I think this is just what I'll add.